Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat and welcome to Veronica's segment of the show. Uh, today I have a very interesting guest as we are uh, approaching the end of the month of January. And many of, of us, many of you viewers, have New Year's resolutions. And what are your New Year's resolutions? We have a very interesting leader here who will be talking on how to stick to your New Year's resolutions. And I would like to welcome, help me welcome Miss Betsy Sobich. Sobiak. Sobiak. You're here today because you are an international uh, uh, what? Inter leadership coach. Leadership coach. Mm -hmm. That's your title, right? Yes. And your uh, company name is Tiara International. Correct. You're representing your, your company, Tiara International. Are you the president? I'm the, one of the managing partners. Managing partners. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're here today to talk about New Year's resolutions and how to stick to it. Right. Okay. So, uh, all right. Uh, you are talk you're going to be talking about the hacks, too, in breaking and not sticking to your New Year's resolutions. Why are people, people breaking their New Year's resolutions? It's a good question because most people, when that New Year starts, they're so passionate about what they want to have be different in their lives or the changes they want to make. But what happens is that you just get into your old habits. So you have habits everywhere. You have habits in terms of the people that you talk to, in terms of your schedule for your day, in terms of your work routine. And so when you get into your habits, then some of the new desires that you have for either what you do on a day-to-day -day basis or even a bigger goal that you're going for, they disappear. And you just get stuck into your same old routine. Why is that? Human uh, frailties? I think it's more just like a pattern, you know? So there's all of that information about how your thinking can be a pattern, like almost like a groove in a record. So if you have a belief that you've told yourself over and over again, it becomes a pattern. Your schedule, your routine, what you do in the morning, at night, like it just becomes your, your routine. So you take something to change a routine, to break out of it. You break out of it. Yeah. Like uh, my New Year's resolution is, as usual, every year, <laughs> <laughs> is to lose some weight. Yeah, which is really difficult uh, to to pursue and uh, to to stick to it. It is very difficult to stick to it, especially in winter in Chicago, because all we want are foods and we want to cuddle up and stay cozy. We don't really want to be out there doing what we need to do. Mostly, so, yeah. But I would love to share with you some of our, our hacks, like what we would call yeah, the resolution yeah, hacks to see if they hacks. would work for you. How many hacks are those? Five. We have all five. All right. Hack number one. Okay. So for you and your resolution to lose weight, which we all have, one of the first things to do is to really be clear on why. Because the thing is, is like you said, you've had this resolution for a couple of years. Why this year? Like, what do you want to have happen if you actually lost weight? Correct. Yeah. Uh, is there a reason that you want to do it that's more than just losing the weight? Oh, uh, well, well, of course, I want to do some other things too, or uh, you know, as long as far as my personal life is concerned, mm -hmm. which I really don't want to. Sure, but we cannot the, discuss right now. And the, and the thing about it is, <laughs> with the health and well-being goal, there's a lot of things possible outside of just losing weight. Like it give you more energy. It might provide you some opportunities that you wouldn't have before. There might be an event this year that you're having that you really want to feel good for. So whenever you have a resolution and you start to lose the momentum toward it, one of the things you need to really remember is why don't you even want that? And the main thing there is like, why do you want that? Not why does someone else want it? Why do you think you should do it? But what is it that you really, really want? So for a goal like that, that you've had many years, you want to say, okay, why? Why now and why me and what would be possible? You really have to ask yourself seriously then. Exactly. Because that's the thing that will really unlock the motivation to break a habit. To the, to the extent, I guess, of uh, scolding yourself. Well, now, 
<laughs> I wouldn't say. So you'll see, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. So one of our life hacks is to also notice progress along the way. Because one of the things that our, our brain naturally does is look at for problems, focus on what hasn't happened yet, look for what's wrong in something, which can feel like scolding or can feel sort of punishing, um, but that's demotivating. That doesn't give you momentum toward a goal. That actually makes you feel like going back to bed and eating more macaroni and cheese. Of course. <laughs> so what um. you actually want to do is be like, okay, so what did I do well? What is some progress? What is something that uh, some exercise I did or something that I ate or something that um, felt really good and include that to give yourself that acknowledgement and momentum along the way. Yeah, with that uh, hack number one, I, um, I'm telling you, I, I really am n number one in forgetting about my resolution when it comes to, to uh, seeing food. Good food that my hero cooks every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, not exercising too. Right. So then there's another hack that would help you. And you're right. actually the doing it one. right now, which is yeah. to tell somebody. So when we have a goal, a lot of times we wish we could keep it to ourselves until we've succeeded, until we've made more progress, or we might be even uh, embarrassed about it in a way. But if you share it with someone who's supportive, so it could be someone, a friend that has a the friend, same goal. Correct. It could be a husband or significant other of some kind. It could be a colleague. I know a lot of people at work who will share a fitness goal and then they'll start clubs around walking at lunch or eating healthy instead of going out for, you know, fries or something after work. So when you tell somebody who's supportive, not critical, and they can then give you the the staying power that you need because they're on the journey with you. Correct. Uh, not like my my friend, who is uh, who would rather serve me a lot of food and do some <laughs> real goodies that I cannot resist. All right. Right. Okay. So for that person, you might either share it or not share it or bring your own food and the, the and asking you what's the matter with you you're not eating <laughs> <laughs> that is an example of those habits like we have uh -huh. the habits of conversation the people that we're with that's why it's so hard right so you yeah. need to know why and you need to share it with people you need to acknowledge progress like baby steps along the way for sure um, and then you also need to have that clear picture of the end so one of the problems is that We'll create a goal and we'll say something like, I should work out every week or I should eat healthy. But the minute you don't eat healthy or the minute you miss a week of working out, you feel like you're failing and you feel behind and you feel demotivated. So instead of having that be the resolution or the goal, it's helpful to create a picture of what is it that you actually want? Is there an event in the fall that you wanna say, I felt great going to that reunion? Or is there an event like, for example, my mom and dad who turned 70 this year, this past fall, they um, took their granddaughter and participated in Girls on the Run. So like TR International, Girls on the Run is another organization that provides empowerment for girls, but in a whole different way. And they did a 5K with their granddaughter. So Ooh, they, didn't, they didn't have the goal of losing nice. weight. They had the goal of do a 5K with my granddaughter. So for you, if you create a picture of what you want, instead of just lose weight, eat healthy, exercise, it's a whole different game. Betsy, uh, uh, one last word for our viewing audience. Uh, being a leadership coach, and, uh, and where can they reach you? Great. Or some more advice. Yes, we have a website. It's tiaracoaching.com. That's T I A R A C O A C H I N G dot com. And on our events and offers page, you'll find that resource circle that I talked about. So if you're looking for a gracious structure or an accountability structure to keep your goals going throughout the year, um, that's where you can find that particular program. Can I offer your audience like a discount for that? Is that okay? Sure. Like this. So I would say okay. um, it's already a really great deal. And if you enter the coupon code HACKS, H-A-C-K-S, that you will receive 25% off of that membership. Sounds good, 25% off. 
<laughs> All right. Oh. Okay, Betsy. Uh, those were really good advices. Thank you. Uh, that will really benefit our audience out there who uh, really cannot having a hard time sticking to their New Year's resolutions, just like me. Yeah, <laughs> you're in good company, and there are ways you can make progress. Okay. Thank you Betsy. for having me. Sobia. So <laughs> Thank you Thank for you. gracing our show today. At maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood. Ako po si Veronica and enjoy the rest of your weekend.